Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you my recent creation, which is mountable GoPro gimbal. As you can see here, this is a two-axis gimbal powered by commodity 9 volt battery and I use a custom-made uh, 3D printed case for it which I designed by myself and don't be afraid uh, nowadays you actually can order 3D print from various websites for example uh, 3dhubs.com I guess I will put link in the show notes and I'm going to open source this design so you don't have to create one by yourself but first of all let's see how it works for that I have a button here as you can see a little switch as you can see I enabled it and camera now is perfectly leveled and if I take it it works I haven't tested uh, this 9 volt power supply thoroughly but as from my test uh, it works more than 30 minutes from the really you know cheap 9 volt battery I bought in a grocery store so yeah uh, you can totally do it and I, and I think it's really convenient so you can buy uh, a pack of those batteries or you can buy uh, you know rechargeable uh, 9 volt battery but actually you can use uh, whatever power supply you want to use so let me tell you a little bit about components that I use to uh, build this thing so first of all I uh, found a really uh, cheap uh, 2-axis gimbal but for quadcopter and uh, it came actually with a pretty good uh, controller board which is 32 bits uh, uh, controller board from uh, Basecam Electronics and it works really well. My initial idea was actually to use uh, you know the, this uh, board as well hide it somehow and I actually even designed and uh, 3D printed case for for this uh, for this board but then I, I I I thought that it's yeah you know it's kind of bulky and I'm, and I don't really want to have a, a handheld gimbal but I want to have a mountable gimbal and to do so I found this uh, little controller board on AliExpress and it's so tiny uh, one downside is that it's only 8-bit, so uh, the quality is uh, a little bit worse, so I can show you how it behaves. Uh, so sometimes it, uh, sometimes it struggles to find uh, a level. As you can see, it's not that smooth. Yeah. So this one, sometimes it happens and then you just have to level it a little bit and then everything's fine again. So yeah, I mean trade-offs, right? As you can see it's uh, 310 grams, which is quite good. Actually now I have a really cheap affordable gimbal that I believe going to suit my needs of course uh, there are some downsides it's not that precise and maybe in future I'm I will uh, you know replace the controller board with a 32-bit version of it but right now I'm really happy what I'm ha what I have and uh, yeah guys so all the links down below in the description uh, tell me if you would like to uh, know in detail how I implemented this project so uh, maybe I will uh, you know uh, cover a little bit what's inside and how I 
assembled everything because it involved a little bit of soldering and modification. Yeah, and again, thanks for watching me guys. Keep shooting great videos and please subscribe to my channel because I have more GoPro related projects to show you. See you next time.